आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ फंक्शन इज गिवन टू अस लेट एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस इज वन थ्री माइनस एक्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन वन फाइव माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री एक्स रेस्ट पावर फाइव माइनस वन वन थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस वन एंड सेवन एक्स रेस्ट पावर एट माइनस वन दिस इज द फंक्शन गिवन टू अस देन द इक्वेशन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन टू अस ऑप्शन वन टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर ओके सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू चेक वेदर दिस एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो हैव हाउ मेनी रियल रूट्स ओके ऑप्शन ए इज एट लीस्ट टू रियल रूट ऑप्शन बी इज एट लीस्ट वन रियल रूट ऑप्शन सी इज मैनी वन फंक्शन एंड ऑप्शन डी इज नैन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी राइट दिस फंक्शन दैन विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट ओके ओके सो दिस इज द गिन फंक्शन इन द क्वेश्चन सो नाउ वी हैव टू चेक द रूट्स ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट पुट सम वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स देन विल चेक वेदर दिस फंक्शन इज हैविंग रूट और नॉट ओके सो इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल हेयर दिस इज एक्स स्क्वायर दिस इज एक्स एंड हेयर ऑल्सो आई एम हैविंग एक्स सो इफ आई पुट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो देन इन दिस लास्ट रो आई गेट माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस वन सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओके दिस फंक्शन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो हाउ लेट मी शो यू जस्ट इफ आई एम सेंग आई सब्सिट्यूट जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स then this whole function will get here i will write one here 3 minus 0 will be 3 and here in denominator uh, last row i'll have minus 1 okay here i'll have one i'll have here 5 and here minus 1 similarly one minus 1 okay and minus 1 here okay so this is my function when i put x equals to 0 now on solving this although i know this will be equals to 0 because here all rows are plus 1 and here it is minus 1 let's check it okay 1 it will be minus 5 and minus 1 okay here i'll write minus 1 it will be minus 3 and minus 1 and here plus 1 minus 3 and plus 5 okay just solving a determinant Okay, it will be equals to five minus one. Okay, it will be minus six here. Plus four. Okay, and here it will be plus two. So it is equals to clearly it is equals to zero. Okay, now as I have substituted zero in place of x. Okay, so I got zero. So let's check it for one also. Okay, if I'll just substitute one in place of x, what I'll get? Because for zero I'm getting zero. So just check another limit close to zero that is f one okay. So here I'll get one, one and one. Okay now three minus one will be two. Okay three minus will be two. Let me just substitute all the values. I'm just using one in place of x. Okay I'm just using one in place of x in this function. Okay it is easy. So I'm skipping this part. Okay let me just check. So On putting one in place of x, I got this. So let's see on solving this function what I'll get. Okay, one it will be twelve minus four minus one it will be twelve minus two. Okay, and plus one it will be four minus two. Just like we solve a determinant. Okay, now here I'll have eight, and here I'll have ten, and here I'll have two. Okay, so clearly it is equals to zero. This is also equal to zero. So what I got, I have checked that f of zero is equals to f of one is equals to zero. Okay, so this function will have at least two roots that will be zero and one. Okay, let me write this point. And look, I have to check for option here. Look, I have to check for f x is equals to zero, and for f x I got zero here. Okay, and I got zero here also for two roots. That is, here I have considered zero and here I have considered one. So my f of x, f of x is equal to zero. Okay, for at least at least two roots. Okay, I have proved this. Now in the next step, here let me just write limit also. For x belongs to 
have considered 0 and 1. Okay. So, we know that there is a theorem called Rolle's theorem. Okay. There is a theorem called Rolle's theorem. According to this theorem, if a function is continuous at interval, close interval that is a comma b, function is continuous and here my interval are, here a comma b are 0 comma 1 for, I have proved that for this interval 0 comma 1 my function is continuous and according to this theorem, if f of a is equals to f of b, okay, and I have also proved that f of 0 is equals to f of 1 okay i have got this value as my value for both of these are 0 okay so for this theorem this is satisfied and this condition is also satisfied then this theorem state that if both conditions are satisfied here these both conditions are satisfied then my f dash of x will also be equals to 0 okay so Basically, what I want to say, this was just explanation part. This I have explained how I can conclude Rolle's theorem, how I can use for this question. Okay. So, basically, using, I'll write here, using Rolle's theorem, my f dash of x will be also equals to 0. Okay. How I can conclude this? Why? Because this is true because of Rolle's theorem. And I have explained this here. Here I have explained this Rolle's theorem. Okay. So basically from this from this step I can conclude that okay wait here limit is also x belongs to 0 1. Okay. According to Rolle's theorem intervals are here I have said my a b's are 0 1 for this question. Okay. So hence I can conclude that the given function is many 1. Okay fx is many one it is many one how i can conclude that just because of Rolle's theorem it is many one because here my f dash x is equals to zero and i have proved that this both f zero and f one is equals to zero so it will have at least two roots and there this function is having this function here in the question it is having two roots and its function that is f dash x is also equals to 0 so I can conclude it is many 1 ok so let's check for the option here option 3 many 1 function this is the correct option thank you class 6 to 12 sale ke need IIT JE means or advanced ke level tak 10 million se zada students ka bharosa aaj download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp ki je apne doubts 8400 400 400 par